All right, again, rationalizing the denominator. So the 5 there is already rationalized, by the way. We don't need to worry about the 5. But what we do need to worry about is this cube root of 9, which we've already done an example with the 9 thing. And it's not that that's a, a bad thing, but let's go and look at the 16 and look to factor out that as well. Just so hopefully it will make it a little bit easier. So on this problem, we got the 12 times the cube root of 16 would be uh, yeah, 4. No, yeah, I'm going to make it 2. To, yeah, thank you. I'm going to make it 4 twos, which will give me a 2 to factor out of that, okay? And so this is... So 9 is going to split up into 3 and 3 on this. So this equals, uh, again, we can pull out a triple of these 2s. So this becomes 12 times 2 times the cube root of 2 all over 5 times the cube root of 3 times 3. Now, the reason I'm keeping that as 3 times 3 is because we're specifically looking to rationalize the denominator, which means that all I would need is to multiply this by another cube root of 3, and behold, we have a triple 3s uh, from a cube root. So I, I do need to multiply it in the numerator as well, though, like this. <clears throat> so now I've got uh, 12 times 2 is 24. And I've got the cube root of 2 times 3, which is 6. And this is all over 5. Times the cube root of 3 times 3 times 3. Again, that gave us a triple right here. Which would be 5 times the 3 there. So, uh, we can simplify this though. Actually, let me, let's go this way. So let's, let's multiply that first. Sorry, let's go uh, 24 times the cube root of 6 all over 5 times 3, which is 15. The 24 and the 15 are both divisible by 3, so uh, we will need to divide them by 3, both of them. And 24 divided by 3 is 8. So I'm going to multiply that by the square root of 6. And divide this by 15 divided by 3 is 5. And this here in the bottom is our answer. Twelve times uh, sixteen to the power of one third, and I'm going to divide this by five times nine to the power of one third. Um, but again, sixteen and nine. Uh, they can be simplified down into other bases. So, for example, 16 is 2 to the power of, what do we get, 4 on that? And then this is to the 1 -third. And that's still being multiplied by 12. Then I've got 5 times something to the 1 -third. 9 is just going to split up into 3 squared. So this ends up being 12 times 2 to the power of 4 thirds, all divided by 5 times 3 to the power of 2 thirds. So, and this is interesting, I guess, is the 2, right? I've got 12 times... This would be 2 to the power of 1 with the remainder of 1, which would make that a 1 -third, right? This is going to be divided by 5 to the times 3 to the power of 2 thirds. So that 2 to the power of 1 with the remainder of 1 just tells us it's the cube root of 2. But what we're really concerned about on this is this red portion right here because that fraction as an exponent is no good. That's what makes it uh, non-rationalized or radical. So if I wanted to change this to 3 to the power of 
the closest one is three thirds. I would multiply this by three to the power of one third. And I would also multiply this by three to the power of one third. What that does is when we add these two fractions here, the two thirds and the one third, that gives us three to the power of one. So this equals 12 times 2 to the power of 1 is 12 times 2. And then since I had a remainder of 1 with, those, with that base 2, it's the cube root of 2. But this was multiplied by 3 to the power of 1 third, which is really, again, the cube root, where the heck did, cube root of 3. And this is divided by 5 times 3. Uh, again, that's going to give you the, the 24 here and the 15, which you'll have to simplify. When you multiply the 2 and 3, you'd get the cube root of 6 uh, again. So simplifying those, I mean, you could simplify this here, right? 12 divided by 3 is 4. So that gives you 8 times the cube root of 6 all over 5. Same answer, again, it's a little bit different way to look at it. I don't know if it's helpful, but it is a way.